Hello friends, this video on coordination of bound pathway in tools brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about the stability of this coordination compound. We talk about coordination compound a lot and let's talk about the stability of this coordination compound in the solution. See, as per the Lewis, uh, sorry, the crystal well theory, the formation of coordination compound is viewed as acid-base reaction. We have seen that where metal reacts with some ligands to form MLX. X is a any number. So this ligand is a base, Lewis base, and metal acts as a Lewis acid. For example, M plus 6L you give me ML6, M plus 4L you give ML4. Okay, now the stability of these complex in the solution refers to nothing but the degree of association between two species involved in this reaction in the equilibrium. You see, this is the equilibrium reaction. Okay, and the magnitude of the stability or the magnitude of the formation or the equilibrium constant of this reaction is something which quantify the stability of this reaction, which express the stability of this reaction. For example, for the first reaction, for the first reaction, first reaction, beta is ML4, the ML6 by M and L to the power. For this reaction, my beta is ML4, the product, by reactant M and this reactant L to the power 4. So that is something which we have seen in the chapter where we have talked about the equilibrium constant. Right? So this is the stability or stability constant or this, this guy is called stability constant or formation constant or equilibrium constant. Let me write here. Stability constant. equilibrium constant or it is also called formation constant. Okay, the instability constant is the reverse of the stability constant. So the instability constant or I say dissociation constant is 1 by beta is reciprocal of stability constant okay or reciprocal of formation constant so these beta is called stability constant equilibrium constant formation constant 1 by beta is instability constant or disassociation constant okay when you talk about beta beta is nothing but ml6 by M L to the power 6 in this reaction or for, for this general reaction I will write beta as MLX divided by reactant M and L to the power its coefficient that is X. This will be the general form for this reaction. Okay. So the same reaction actually we can write in different steps. For example, I take M plus 4 L gives you ML4. This is the reaction we had. I can write this in various steps. Step one, metal plus metal reacts with the ligand to form ML. Then metal ligand reacts with again L to form ML2. Then whatever we have found in this reaction, ML2 will again react with one ligand to form ML3. And this ML3 again reacts with one ligand to form ML4. And all these are equilibrium reaction. The first reaction is almost goes in the forward direction, so I'll not write as equilibrium reaction. The first reaction I can write K1 or I can write beta 1 also as ML by M and L. For second reaction I can write K2 as ML2 divided by ML and L. For the third reaction K3 I can write as ML3 divided by ML2 and here L. The fourth reaction I can write K4 as ML4 divided by ML3 and L. For the overall reaction, for this reaction, if I want to write K, K is nothing but K1 into K2 into 
K3 and PK2. You can actually find the value. K if you see, K if you find, K will be what? ML4 by M L to the power 3. Let's find, let's multiply all these values. If you multiply all these values, you'll see K1 is ML by ML. K2 is what? ML2 by ML and L. K3 is what? ML3 by ML2 and L. And K4 is what? ML4 by ML3 and L. So you see L3, L3 cancel, L2, L2 cancel, L, L cancel. So what you have is ML4 by M L to the power. And this is what we have in the left hand side. You see both are same. Okay, this is the reaction. Also, please note that this value of K, which I say is nothing but a product by reactants coefficient. So, the more is the value of this K or beta, I can also say the more is the value of this K, the more favorable is this forward reaction and more stable is this coordination compound. Large is the value of K gives the indication that the, uh, this coordination compound is thermodynamically more stable. Also, delta G is minus RT ln K. This is something we know. Right? More is the value of K, more negative is delta G, more favorable is this. Okay. So, greater the value of K, greater is the stability of this coordination compound. So, there are some factors actually that impacts the stability of the coordination compound. First factor as I know is the nature of metal ions. We'll use some example. Nature of metal ion is the first factor. Second is the nature and structure of ligands. That is the next factor. And the third factor is the temperature. We'll talk about these three factors which actually impact the stability of the coordination compound. Let's talk about the first factor. So let me talk about this first factor and this is the nature of metal ion. So here if you see that the stability, stability is directly proportional to the charge density, not charge, charge density of metal ion. So what is charge density? Charge by volume. Right? So greater is the charge, smaller is the size, more is the stability of coordination compound. That means greater charge of metal ion and smaller size of metal ion implies more stability. Greater charge means high oxidation state. Correct. For example, I'll, I'll show you. If you compare Fe CN6 3 minus and Fe CN6 4 minus. So in this case, the charge on iron is plus 2. In this case, the charge on iron is plus 3. This is more stable because greater charge on metal ion gives more stability. Okay. This is more stable in the solution. If you talk about the formation of these, uh, the reactions for these, I can write here actually. For example, Fe H2O6 3 plus plus 6 Cn minus will give you Fe Cn6 3 minus. And similarly here, so this will be plus Fe H2O2 plus. 6 2 plus plus 6 Cn minus will give you Fe Cn 6 2 minus. So in both this reaction, for the first reaction, the K value is very high. For this reaction, the K is almost 1 into 10 to the power 31. In this case, the K is 1 into 10 to the power 24. So from this, you can say that this is more stable. This reaction is more favorable, right? This is more stable. This reaction moves more in the forward direction. In both case, 
iron is uh, the metal ion is same the ligand is same the only difference is the charge it has more charge more stable okay so that is depending on the charge the second case let's talk about the let's size let's suppose the charge is same let's talk about the size for example they have ni en3 the 3 plus charge in your fe en3 with the 3 plus charge so in this case this is more stable why because nickel is little smaller than iron okay so it is charge density charge per unit volume so if the metal both the metal are same you have to check about the charge if the charge is same see the volume which one is more which one is more that means it is less stable right so the one which is smaller is more stable here nickel is smaller it is more stable so we had talked about the charge density let's talk about the second factor nature of ligands see nature of ligands more basic the ligand more stable is quadric number please don't get confused about the strong field and weak field ligand that does not account for the stability of the coordination compound that is just experimental data in the crystal field theory to explain the structure when i say formation of metal uh, coordination compound i talk about metal and ligand re reacts to form mlx right this coordination compound so here metal metal act as acid lewis acid and the uh, ligand act as base so stronger is the base more strong is the coordination compound right that's what we know in the acid base reaction so more basic is the ligand more st stronger is the coordination compound for example ammonia is more basic than what that is something you know so in this case if i talk about compound like ni h2o6 the two plus charge and ni nh3 six with again two plus charge this is more stable why because this is more basic this is less basic this is more basic right so the ligand more basic is the ligand because here everything else is same the nickel is same the charge on the nickel is same everything is same the only difference was the ligands in fact if you see this there is a reaction if you have this nih2o6 with 2 plus when you react with excess of ammonia you get ninh3 6 2 plus and 6 water molecule comes out and this is a spontaneous reaction this is a spontaneous reaction okay that is one the second is chelating ligands chelating ligands implies more stability because they form ring kind of structures compared to monodentate ligands the polydentate ligand which forms a ring chelating ligands those are more stable for example if you see if you compare n i h 2 6 2 plus n i n h 3 6 2 plus and n i e n 3 2 plus this is more stable why because this is forming chelating ring kind of structure we found the structure of this it will be something like this right this kind of chelating ring gives extra stability this is the most stable and then this because it is more basic than water and this will be the least stable compound okay let's talk about the third factor temperature see the formation of coordination compound formation of coordination compound cc is exothermic please note this since it is exothermic that means it gives out energy when you form coordination compound thus it is less stable at higher temperature
And actually, you, you can't actually tell exactly about the stability because at high temperature or when you give, when you give some heat, the coordination compound changes from one form to another. For example, I have CONH3, 6, Cl3. When you heat this, the same compound converts into CONH3, Cl3 and this ammonia molecules comes out, three ammonia molecules comes out. So they convert from one form to another at higher temperature. Okay, and thus you say they are less stable at higher temperature because at higher temperature they convert from one form to another. At lower temperature they are okay in the same state. Okay, so let's take some numerical now. The overall complex disassociation equilibrium constant that is beta for this reaction is given that B4 for this complex is gets. So B4 is given 2.1 to the power, right? This is the we have to calculate the dissociation constant. We have been given B4. B4 is what? Association constant. And I have to find this dissociation constant. So I have told that dissociation constant is nothing but reciprocal of association constant. So this is 1 by B4, that is 1 by 2.1 to the power 13. If you solve this, 4.7 10 to the power minus 14. And that is the answer. Pretty easy. See here, just this question is just to make sure that you understand the term association constant and disassociation constant. They have given you the association constant value and they are asking you to find the value of this association constant. So dissociation constant is nothing but 1 by association constant. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.